So this is stress Z. And stress Z point is easy to identify because it's compression and it has zero shearing stress. Okay. So over here, this is where your point Z is. Okay. So we have labeled where your point Z. Then the shear is at 30. Okay, so we have positive 30 and we have negative 30. Right. So from here, we want to see where X. OK, so let's focus on uh, stress X. OK, so at po point X, you have 120, right? And this arrow that I'm shading now, the blue arrow, OK, is going to generate a rotating moment uh, or, or rotating of the element in a what? We anti-clockwise direction. So anti-clockwise. So over here, this will be our point X. Okay. And then the other point. Okay, we're going to focus on our point Y now. Okay, which is on our stress Y line. Is going the 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 shear is going to generate a clockwise rotation. Okay, right. If remember, I I told you guys to recall. Right, you put your finger where I'm drawing the dot now, right? Then you can see how the element will rotate about the z-axis, okay? So this is where your point y is, okay? Then from here, you can construct a straight line. So let's do the xy plane first, okay? So this circle we're going to draw will belong to the xy plane, right? So we know we can calculate the stress average For the xy plane, so this will be equal to 120 plus by minus 60 divided by 2. Okay, so 120 plus 60 uh, minus 60, 60 divided by 2 is 30 megapascal. Okay, so we know where the center of the circle is. In indeed, it did intersect the 30 megapascal. Okay, it did intersect the 30 megapascal line which I'm going to draw in green now. All right. So from here we can. So if you have a compass now, right, you can you can rotate. Right. So can you repeat why Z is easy to identify? Because you OK, thank you. <laughs> OK, we have self communication is good. OK, so from here, as I said, if you have a compass can draw your circle, I don't have one. I'm going to calculate my tau max, my shear max. OK. So my shear max and my xy, okay. So before I go on, I still remember I call this a radius of circle. For xy plane, okay. So so tau max, right? Tau max uh, xy is equal to square root okay so just just so we know that uh the shear is 30 squared right plus by uh 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 90 squared right so why uh 30 squared by 90 squared because i just we just look at this distance yeah i'll, I'll draw it out so we just look at the distance from here to here. All right, so this distance happened to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. This happened to be 90. And then the next distance we look at is we look at over here. All right, this distance is equal to 30. Right, so 30 squared plus 90 squared square root. 94.8. 6, 8. Okay, so this is equal to 94.868 megapascal. So we know the radius. So from here, we can calculate our stress 1 and 2, all right, which is our, I'll write this down so maybe some of you forget. This will be our principal stress. Okay. Stress 1 and 2. 
So it's equal to 30 plus by in my or in minus 94.868. Okay. So 30 plus by 94.868 is equal to 124.868 megapascal. And then 30 minus 94.868 minus 94. Point uh, eight six eight megapascal. Okay. So I'm a bit. Is it? Uh, hold on. Nah. Uh, what do you mean thirty? Eugene, come on, wakey, wakey. <laughs> thirty minus ninety four point. Something don't feel right. Minus sixty four point eight six eight megapascal. Okay. So from here we can construct our circle already. Okay. So I'm going to draw our circle. So 64, and then we have what? 124. As I say, I'm just eye eyeballing this, okay? Okay. So 86. Uh, the radius is 94, so 94 is about here. And then the bottom 94. Okay, so we know, okay, I want you to watch this now. So we now know that this belongs to the XY plane. Okay, so this is our in plane. Now I'm going to draw are uh, two more circles, right? We need to draw two more circles, okay? Because we have to construct 3D more circle, right? So one set of circles will be here. There's one circle, right? So this, uh, the smaller circle is uh, two, four. So I'm going to go two slightly up. I will adjust. Right now, this circle, I want you, I want you to watch this, okay? This circle is known as my YZ plane, and is the out of plane one. Okay, All right, and then I'm, I'm going to draw another circle, a bigger one. Okay, I'm going to draw another circle. And I'm going to ask you guys a question. Okay. So, two, six, six. Right. So, this circle that I've just drawn, okay, this one belongs to the x z plane and this is our out of plane again can you see how the the which how we identify the plane for the circle yes or no right so to identify the plane whether is it y x plane or x z plane okay that's 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 a confusing part is why is uh, we'll look at the orange one first okay so if you look at the orange one right point y is over here and over here this is an acute angle yes or no acute angle means is less than 90 degrees okay so the acute the y to this point over here right is an acute angle so this label that circle y z plane okay and then if you go to the other side if you look at over here, this is the acute angle. Right? So the, the, the X going to this point over here, right? So it touches the smaller, the second bigger circle, which is the XZ. That's why we call it the XZ plane. Are we clear? So this example, I want to highlight uh, how you determine uh, the circles is in what plane. 
when you have sharing stress. When there's no sharing stress, it's easy. When you have sharing stress, it's not so straightforward. Okay. So over here, it happened to be, right? As you can see, right? Uh, you, we, we can use, in fact, we can just use 2D mole circle to get the right answer. But I want you to, uh, not to just apply 2D, okay? Even if, even you're sure, construct 3D, the exam question will say, construct 3D mole circle. Give me three circles. Don't give me one and this is the right answer. You'll get marks deducted, okay? So as you can see from here, the tau max, right? So this is our tau max, or is it in plane? So you can see down here the shear uh, x, y, the shear max x y. Oi. is equal to your tau max, okay? So from here, you can write down that your shear tau max is equal to your shear uh, max x, y, and this happened to be 94.868 megapascal, and it is in plane. Right, and the question also asks us to find the maximum principal stress and stress max is equal to uh, 124 positive 124.868 megapascal. Okay, so as I said, uh, you guys have learned 2D mole circle already. Going to 3D is not that difficult, right? Okay, but you, you need to be aware that you have to draw three circles in 3D mode circle and how to construct the 3D mode circle. Right, I'm going to do another uh, example. Okay. Any questions so far regarding this? Anyone, please? Is everything okay? Could you just explain like the, the angle thing again? Like I, like, I don't get what that means. Okay, Jacob, no problem. It's good to ask this. So, it, so what it means is uh, we want to identify this circle that I'm coloring in, in, in highlighting yellow, which plane it is in, right? So is it in XZ plane or YZ plane? So how to do this is, if you look at point Y to the smaller circle down here, it's, an, it's approaching at a cube, a cube angle means it's less than what, 90 degrees. Yeah. If you look at it from point Y to reach to the smaller circle, right? It is greater than 90 degrees, yes or no? Right, this angle is greater than 90 degrees. Right? Yes. So it does not belong to X, so it belongs to Y. That is why you call this YZ plane. Does, is that clear now? Uh, yeah. Yes, it's it's the later part, you don't get it, right? I can, I can. Yeah. So this angle down here is more than 90 degrees from X, yes or no? Yeah. So you cannot call it you cannot call this exact plane. You have to focus on the acute angle to the smaller circle. All right. Okay. So if you look at the middle circle now, the middle size circle, right? You cannot call this yz plane because if, if if you call this yz plane, right, this angle down here from 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 here to here is greater than ninety degrees. Yes or no? From point y. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. That's why you cannot call it yz plane. That's why it's called exact plane. Okay. Yeah, right, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, clear. I, I think you need you you need both ways, which is okay, okay, to, to make sure you 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 uh verify what plane it is. Okay. Now I've uploaded this on Avenue to Learn. We are going to go do this example, okay? Anyway, we're gonna do this example. And this is so called one of the most difficult question not one of the most it is the most difficult question you get from most circuit it is the most difficult question okay i repeat again it is the most difficult question okay so this is from the answer manual okay i just took it out bang slam it in okay so let's read the question first okay for the state of stress shown, determine the values of stress y for which maximum shearing stress is uh, 75 megapascal. Okay, so 
that's the, that is the question that we get and i know you, you guys uh i'm 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 i'm, I'm I, I'm very sure about this. Your math is better than mine. I'm I'm hundred percent sure. Okay, the the level of math you guys learn, uh, 